what we've got right here is another member of the Asclepiuses, this being Asclepius verticillata, the world milkweed. It gets that name from its uh, from the arrangement of the leaves, which are whirled about the stem. And another thing you're going to note about these leaves, they're incredibly, incredibly linear and very, very thin with a nice yellow mid vein on the center there. Like most members of the milkweeds, they've got that nice latexy sap full of cardiac glycosides that kind of put in place to discourage herbivory as well as get sequestered by the monarchs through years of convergent evolution. And we can look to the flowers now. They've got, of course, your typical milkweed hoods and horns uh, inflorescence style. You're going to look at the petals first down at the base. They get a nice little flush of light pink to them as they age. And then moving on up to the corona, you can see that the, uh, the horns here exceed the hood, so they're nice and obvious surrounding the gynoecium, the uh, female reproductive structure of the plant. And additionally, the buds get a nice pink blush on them as well right before they open up. So it's a beautiful little milkweed. Very, very dainty and nice to see. So one of the really cool things about this plant is its very weedy nature. This is, of course, a native milkweed that we get, but what I love about it more than anything is just its ability to survive and adapt and, and uh, really flourish in disturbed environments. This is a plant that's so durable that it can actually take being herbicided and manage to shrug that off just fine. So this is really, uh, it's quite a survivor. You see it a lot, like I said, in more disturbed habitats, kind of. So you'll see this one on roadsides that get mowed a lot. It'll, of course, develop the nice, the typical milkweed follicle once it's done and getting ready to produce seed. This is one of our shorter milkweed species. Uh, this one tops out typically around a foot, foot and a half. So it's not as big as some of the other species that you get in the same genus. Uh, well, I think that's it. This is, of course, a really lovely plant. It would be wonderful to see this and more gardens happening. Thank you.